Hey everyone, this is Corey from Lightspeed, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to create an assembly item within Lightspeed Retail. Assembly items can be best thought of as things like gift baskets, where the final product that's being sold is built using quantities of other products that exist within your database. As an example, let's create a gift basket that has some shower beads and decorative soap within it. First, we'll come up to New Item here in the Inventory menu. We'll give the item a name. And then make sure that you set the type to Assembly. And this is going to be what gives you the correct tab so that you can set the parts that go into this final product. We're going to leave everything else blank for now, just to show you some of the other functionality here. We'll go ahead and Save Changes to get our sidebar. And we can now see that assembly is one of the options. Once we come into it, this screen is split into a few parts. First, we can see a little description about what assemblies are, the option to build the assembled product, and then on the side here, the ability to actually create the parts that go into it. First, let's search for and assign some of the existing products that we have to go into this assembly. For instance, our shower beads, we can see that they've been added at the bottom here. We're going to adjust some of this later, as well as our decorative soap. In addition to that, often the raw parts that go into it are also included in the assembly. For instance, the basket itself. The other option that you have is to create new parts through this dialog here. For instance, I can create a gift basket ribbon Say that the cost of a single ribbon is about five cents and that we need one per assembly. And we'll create that part at this point. That will both create me that new product as well as attach it to this assembly. The next step is to take a look at the assembly items here and ensure that your quantities are set accordingly. For instance, perhaps there are a dozen shower beads and we'll say half a dozen decorative soaps within each one of these baskets. Another thing that's worth noting is that on this screen, we can see the default cost of the individual parts, as well as their retail price, if applicable. The stock levels are also shown, although these are primarily used for when you're deciding how many to build at any given time. Lightspeed will also take the default cost and retail price of all of the parts and their quantities going into this basket and come up with an approximate default cost and total retail price right here. We can still modify these on the details screen of the main gift basket product, but this is giving us a nice estimate, which really helps us to set our prices accordingly and make sure that our margins are in a good place. Next, let's go ahead and actually build an assembly. So we can see here that it's asking us, how many do we want to build? I'm just gonna say one for now and hit the build button. Now you'll notice that it's giving us a warning that there's not enough inventory. And that's because our gift basket ribbons are currently at zero. So Lightspeed is smart enough to not allow you to create an assembly if you don't have enough of the raw materials. That way your inventory levels will always stay aligned between the parts and the assemblies themselves. So let's quickly jump into our gift basket ribbons here and add some inventory on. And then we'll come back to the basket itself. And we can now see that we do have the inventory available. So once again, let's go up and we'll hit build one. And we can now see that the assembly has been built. Lightspeed by default will add the assembled item into the label queue so that you can print a label for it. You can also print labels from the top of the screen as usual. The other thing to note is that our stock levels have been deducted accordingly to ensure that this item is represented correctly. You'll also notice that it's possible to break down an assembly. For instance, if we were out of stock of our decorative soaps and we wanted to break apart one of the baskets to sell these as singles, I can come into the assembly and break it down. This is just going to do the reverse of the original and we'll add the stock back in. And that's the basics of assemblies. Thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like some more video content like this, please check out our video library.